Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to do a project with the mixer brush. All right, the mixer brush is really pretty cool. Um, what we can do is we can start and take the pixels and mix them to make a digital painting from a photograph. So we begin first, where is the mixer brush? So we come on into our paintbrush and our mixer brush is within the paintbrush, but below. Now, what we're gonna see as we look at this mixer brush is that we can set whatever brush we wanna work with. Now, I have a lot of different brushes loaded in here. And another good place to look at the brushes is in the brushes window. And what I can see is I have these different folders for my brushes. Now, if yours doesn't look like this, that's okay. You will see your brushes though in the brushes. They might not be organized in folders. This is in the latest update for Creative Cloud. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my brush. Now I'm gonna start by doing this. I'm gonna say clean brush. I could also sit, click onto this one, which will be to clean the brush after each stroke. But I'm gonna just click clean brush. Now I'm gonna choose to sample all layers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a layer above. Now I wanna keep my photo intact below. And I'm going to come on in, I can change the color, and I can come on in and move. Now, what's happening is the actual color loaded, so I'm going to undo this. I'm going to come to my history, my window to history, and I am going to go back into here, into my new layer, working above here. Again, I'm going to make sure that my brush, clean my brush. And I can also choose how wet do I want it to be, how much do I want to load on, so I'm going to lower this. And I can up the mixing, how much mixing do I want to happen. So I'm going to come on in again and click. Move on through. All right, I'm going to zoom it on in. And again, I want to make sure that my brush is clean. Now what's happening here is that the color is picking and mixing as it moves through. Now, I can also select and have this color mix in with it. I can come in and keep cleaning my brush. But let's say that I wanted to come in and mix a color in. So you can see that that color just mixed in with it. Um, so maybe I want to come in, in and sample this white right in here and come on back to my mixer brush tool. And again, I can say how wet do I want my brush to be. I can say how much paint do I want to load on. And I can also up how much I want it to mix. So I can come on through and start moving this around. Now, what's a good idea too, I also believe, is to come on in and, you know, again, maybe change the color that's mixing with this. Grab on to my mixer brush. And what else we can do is we can come on in and we can actually change the brush. So I think that's really a good idea. I'm gonna come to my wet media brush and start to click and choose. Now, the one that I actually really want to work with, we have our general brushes, we have our wet media brushes, we have our dry media brushes as well. Um, I'm going to click onto this one in here. Again, I can go a little bit smaller. Start mixing things up. Now what we're going to find is as we come on in and I turn off the layer below, I can see that this is what is left. This is how the painting is starting to happen. All right, I'm gonna keep on moving on through this and see what I have. All right, as I start to move through, I want to always make sure that I actually have the right brush selected. So I have my mixer brush selected. And again, working with if there is a color that's added on to it. I can change my brush size as well to get a larger area. I can pick my brush up and down or just keep moving it all over the place. Now, sometimes as I move through to um, sample all layers will come off, so I need to always make sure that I have sample all layers selected. 
Now as I move on through to this part too, I can come on down, see these colors mixing in together, and I can get these colors to mix. But as I come into this area, what's really pretty awesome is since I have the color already there, it's gonna fill it on in. I have my brush strokes creating these different kinds of brush strokes. Again, I keep turning the layer off and on so I can see which parts I've hit and which parts I have not. Again, sometimes it's easy to skip to the brush and not have the mixer brush. To summarize one more time, what is the mixer brush doing? Well, the mixer brush is coming in and it is mixing the color pixels that are there. So whatever color pixels are there, it's mixing them together. We also have the option of adding color to the brush. Again, we can come up and we can change the size. We can change the size of our brush. We can also change the amount of wetness of our brush, how much we load it, how much it's mixing. So those are some really awesome options. As I come on into here, choosing the different colors, trying to get the sense in my brush strokes the way that this flower is moving. We can even make our pieces more abstract by using little different brushes and kind of pulling things all over the place, moving on through, um, getting a sense of what is what, and really just continuing to work until I get to a final result that I'm happy with. Turning it on and off and trying to figure out, okay, which parts do I need? Okay, coming in, getting these larger areas that weren't quite hit just yet getting them filled with color, especially coming up to the upper right portion in here and hitting this, turning it into a painting, working with a littler brush right now. Um, eventually we'll move to a bit of a larger brush to get more of a feeling and really just the essence of what's happening here, filling in the areas, what has paint, what does not, what still is the photographic image, zooming in, moving on through till we can get to an end result that we're happy with. Coming to this last portion, again, moving on through, moving on through, adding in the mix, the brush, changing the brush size, getting the happy with the brush strokes that are present, and then eventually getting, creating a new layer and adding a fill color and ending with a final image. Thanks so much for listening. This is an overview of the Mixer Brush Tool.